Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in the last video you saw me with this solar panel and I managed to get this solar charger to charge up the battery. So that's good news. So what I'd like to do is, I've got these solar panels, well, uh, sorry, this uh, these solar charge controllers. One, two, this isn't a charge controller but it's still like a charging kind of chip IC thing. So three and then four, all right? And then there's also the one that I broke, five. So what I want to do is I want to get all five of them working. This one probably might be the hardest because it might be completely toast. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that this 12 volt panel can work with this charge controller. But what I decided to do was to deal with the lower voltages. I'm thinking this is quite a big panel. Uh, if you look, you know, compared to my hand. And ideally, I would love it if we can keep the, the, the final product quite small. And so what I've gone and done is I've bought instead of a 12 volt panel, I've got a five volt panel. So this solar panel will produce five volts. I love that, that is just so good. All right, um, so let's cut this USB. It's quite cool that it comes with a USB. All right, so I've tripped the wires and I've also tinned them as well. One thing I must say is I'm getting better at this stuff, which is nice. So let's talk through the panel. So it's uh, 8.8 .8 centimeters uh, this way and 14 centimeters, 14.2 centimeters this way. So let me run you through the specifications of this anyways. Apparently it's a two watt solar panel, uh, five volts. Now, what I'm a bit concerned about is it says here that on the Amazon listing that the intelligent, the output is intelligent and voltage stabilization control, stable and high efficiency, steady voltage output, consistent with household power supply current. So I'm wondering if there's anything in here. So let's, uh, Let's just get this off and figure out what's in there. Unfortunately, this is just the way things go with me, but I was right that they had, you know, some sort of circuitry there with a diode and whatnot. So I can't exactly see what's in there because they've kind of like just glued it all up, but I can obviously see a diode. Um, but what I've done is I've actually pulled off, see this green here? I've pulled off the PCB. Uh, so, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a decent connection there. Like the board is just completely wrecked. It took a lot of effort to try and get that off. Basically the whole thing was fully, fully glued down. Good news guys. I just tested the voltage at these points here. Obviously you can see it from the friggin' PCB that that's the positive. That's the negative. Yeah. Thankfully, even though I damaged this PCB here, it shouldn't, ma it shouldn't make a difference. Actually, I could just tap straight into here. All right. So I've soldered on just some jumper cables. And so I've literally just got the panel connected here now, just at the top there, and it's getting three volts straight, and it's not even anywhere near my LED light. So I'm going to go put it up to it now, and let's see if I can get up to five volts. Look at that, perfect. Look at that, 5.6 volts. So even the part that I damaged, Frank Pierre just managed to touch them there, so... All right, so this was the solar charge controller that I was most excited about. I don't know if it's just because of the colors or whatnot. I don't know, but I really like it. <laughs> I think it's really nice. So um, the input voltage has to be 4.5 to 6 volts, right? And then battery there. So I'm thinking this should be a decent, quite fairly easy thing to do, really. So we've got our 3.7 volt battery, our 5 volt panel. It should just be as simple as just connecting it into the solar, into the input there. And then reading out uh, 3.7 volts here. I think it's that simple. Let's give it a go. All right, so I've wired the solar panel to the charge controller. And actually, if I increase the, if I put the solar panel up on charge, you can see that there's an LED there that actually turns on to say that it's charging. And then there's another LED there, LED there to say that it's done. And actually, there's also like an on uh, LED here that, that goes, that illuminates as well. There you go. So that is there. This 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 charge controller is amazing. I really really like it. I love it. I would love to design something like this uh, for my final year project. But what I thought is before I charge the battery, I think it makes sense to drain it first. So I'm gonna you know make a a breadboard circuit with a bunch of LEDs on it, and then drain the battery down to like two two point five volts, three volts, something like that and then charge it back up using the charge controller. So before I connect it, I just got to connect it in here. Before I do that, let's drain the battery first. So I've just got these LEDs set up on the breadboard. So if I just connect in positive, 
and a negative. Okay, and let's test the voltage. We're at 3.387, 3.386. The voltage is dropping fast, huh? These LEDs are super bright as well. So, uh, yeah, the voltage is actually dropping rapid. Cool, so let's see what happens in, uh, give it a half an hour or so, and then we'll see if this can charge it up. All right, so the LEDs have turned off, the white ones. These ones are still kind of flashing a bit. Uh, it was only half an hour, so let's see the damage that we've done to the battery, huh? We're at 2.25 volts. So let's try and charge it with the solar panel and the five volt, uh, sorry, the solar charger and the five volt panel. So we've got the solar panel being charged. Let's check the voltage at the input, 4.4 volts. All right, at the output, 2.62. So 4.4 was it? 4.4 and 2.62. Um, we've got 4.4 coming in, 2.62 going into the battery. So hopefully this solar charge controller is supposed to be really good. Like it's supposed to have this LED here which tells you when it's done. So it's got charge there and then done there. So hopefully that done LED will illuminate once uh, this battery is charged. Yeah, let's leave it and uh, see what happens in an hour or two. So what's interesting here is that obviously the input on the solar input says 4.5 volts. Now when I test the input here, I'm reading 4.4 volts. So I'm thinking that it shouldn't be charging, but the charge LED is actually turned on. It's it's clearly red there. And so now when I check the battery voltage, do we have an increase? Boom, 3.2 volts. So it's charged, um, it's charged back up nicely. So let's see if we can get it up to the 3.7 volts, which is where it's supposed to be. And it should be fully charged at 4.2, right? So let's see how we get on with that. Hopefully we can get up to 4.2, currently at 3.2. All right, so when I've been checking the voltage, you know, it's been a few hours now. I believe it's got some sort of slow down trickle charge feature. So if we take a look at the input voltage, it's still going to be 4.5, 4.4 volts. And then the output voltage to the battery is 3.4 volts. So it's going up, but it's going up very, very slowly. I don't think it's going to reach 3.7. Probably not for, you know, like, you know, nine hours or something, 12 hours. So... It might take a very long time. So what I'll do is, you know, we'll just move on to the next solar charger. But I think it's safe to say that, yeah, this is uh, fully working. So very, very good to see. Nice to, nice to know that we managed to get this solar charger working. And I think my final project with the final kit, I would love it if I can design something like this. Something that, something that looks like this and functions like this with the USB output, the 5 volt output. That would just be amazing. So that's 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 the plan basically. Yeah, let's continue. All right, so we're back to this charge controller again. I've tried my best to clean up the damages that I caused over there. So hopefully there's no shorts there. I'm gonna disconnect one of the old, each connector on each side and then try and tap into the positive and negative for both. So you got the solar side on here and you got the battery side on here. So let me just disconnect uh, a connector on each side. Hopefully it's simple. I've seen it done on YouTube. I don't know how simple it is. I think I saw um, Great Scott do this on his video for this exact board, actually. All right, so I've got the solar panel connected into the charge controller. I've got the battery terminals soldered on here. So you can see the solar, solar input is coming in here. I've soldered it just onto this connector and then the same with the uh, output to the battery. So this solar charge board, I don't know if it's broken or not. I don't know if it's still gonna work. And then just from a bit of basic investigation, so you can see there, V in and the battery are completely shorted out. So, which uh, I think means the charge controller is dead. Yeah, let's move on. What the plan is to basically just use these other charge controllers. So I've obviously used this one already. So now we have here, two and three. Let me look at the specification for this, for this one and then uh, give this a go. Okay, so I've done some Googling because I wasn't sure. So since this charger is a 3 amp 12 volt lead acid battery charger, 
then using a LiPo battery can actually be dangerous. And I think this is for 12 volts only, and there's no option for me to turn it down. So chucking 12 volts into this is gonna be a very, very bad idea. So I'm not gonna risk it. I'm, what I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put this charger aside and then um, I'll try and do a separate video on just this specific charger and how it works once I've figured out how the rest works. So we'll put this aside for now and we'll move on to maybe either this one or this one. I think we'll go with this one. This I'm intrigued by this tiny little uh, charger. So let's see how this works. All right, so let's take a look at this charger. So the official name for this is the TP4056. So it's got a max input voltage of eight volts. So I wasn't able to use this larger panel, which I had the 12 volts one. So that's why I didn't use it last time, but now I can use it here with this five volt panel. So it should be all good. All right, so I've soldered on some connections. So we'll just connect the battery up. But we'll do that last so I can just pull it off quickly. So let me go, this yellow is the negative terminal. Okay, there you go. So you can see there the LED on the board is illuminated. So that's a good sign. And I can see this one's actually flashing as well, which you guys probably can't see. So it is flashing, but again, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. At that angle, you can see it flashing there. So you've got one LED illuminated, the other one flashing. I believe it's possible, and I think this is going to work, because this is 5 volts, I believe. Let's just check what, what voltage we're getting, actually. Okay, we'll, there we go. So we've got 4.5 volts there. Okay, so this is good. All right, now, I'm going to connect the battery in, and I'm hoping it should just work. Okay, I've got a red light on the, on the LED. All right, we've got 3.887 volts. I think what I'll do now is I'll drain the battery on this and then I'll see if I can charge it from this. That's what I'm going to do. So, all right, so I've left it running for a good two, three, four hours now. And uh, let's check the voltage. You guys can't even see it. There you go, 2.689. So we, we dropped the voltage by quite a lot. So now I'm going to stick it back on charge with the solar panel and the charge controller. And then we should be able to get this back up to 3.7 volts. Okay, so got my battery here. I've got my charger on with my solar panel. I've got the solar panel with this uh, LED light. Let's see how we get on. We'll leave this again, like I said, for an hour and then uh, we'll check back. All right, so moment of truth. It's been a few hours now. Let's have a look at our battery voltage. First, I think we'll check the voltage at the panel. 3.75 volts at the panel. At the battery, moment of truth gonna work way 3.435 volts there we go so we drained our battery and we fully charged it up i mean it's not fully charged obviously we could get up 3.7 volts um i'm assuming assuming i have something to do with the fact that uh the solar panel voltage is lower 3.84 volts yeah so we're not getting the, the solid 5 volts but still wait 3.84 hang on a second oh, what's it here again 3.4, okay, yeah, fine. I was wondering if they were, they were the same voltage, but they're not. I was thinking maybe I might have just shorted this whole thing out. But yeah, I don't think we have. Okay, so the only other so uh, solar charge control that I haven't used is this big chunky one for good reason. I mean, it's quite scary even to look at. So when I check the description, it says that uh, it will start charging at 12 volts. So I've got my 12 volt solar panel here. Um, but again, it's only going to start charging once it receives 12 volts, which is going to be quite difficult to um, to get going. And then, and anyways, let's check the voltage here. So it's daylight now, so we're getting 7.4 volts here just from the daylight. I've got an LED above me as well, which you can see any reflection, but it's quite, that's quite far away. Now, the, the, the reason why I actually, so I technically I could use this charge controller with this panel. But the reason why I'm not going to use it is because the charge controller, the description actually says that it stops charging at 14.8 volts and it's to be used with a 12 volt battery. So I'm obviously not going to use a 12 volt battery in my final product kit. So I don't think it serves me to spend time figuring out how these larger charge controllers work. Because obviously just look at the size of this compared to this one or compared to this one, or this, right, or this. I'm guessing, and I'm assuming, 
that a simple charger is going to be the way to go for me and then maybe i could even include an mppt one but definitely i'm not going to go up to something like this like the plan is to keep the battery small so i'm either going to, either going to go with something like this or i'm going to go with uh, like a, a lithium cell so you know the, the the big chunky lithium cells ideally it would be good to go with something like this because I feel like some people might have these in their home from drones, from robots, toys, that kind of stuff. Like LiPo batteries are quite easy to get. And I wouldn't want someone to be using the kit and then, you know, they destroy their battery, they short their battery out. And then now they have to look, go onto AliExpress and order a new battery and wait three or four weeks for it. Do you know what I mean? Like getting the lithium getting the big chunky lithium cells are going to be quite difficult so more than likely i want to go with something simple like this a nice simple 3.7 volt lipo battery i think they're a lot easier to get hold of yeah i mean so i'm going to scrap this one i'm not going to scrap it obviously i'm going to put it to the side and use it for a future project figure out how this works in another time so yeah i think that's it i think this is a this is a nice working kit there, there could be some more tests that we could run for example we could check to see if it would carry on charging and overcharge. I mean, for now, I think that might be above my level. So the initial plan of this learning stage, right, was to, to actually use all of these different components to build the circuit. And I don't, I don't wanna get too bogged down in the finer like kind of details. So I think what we'll do is we'll move on. So we've got the solar panel working with a battery charger and we've got it actually working for this one, right, with the 12 volt panel. So we can maybe run two different systems. I think what we'll do from here is we'll use the 12 volt panel with this charge controller, this one here. And then I think we'll use this 5 volt panel with this, and we can use them both with this battery. And I think the next, the next stage would be to, we need to produce a DC, uh, output that we can connect to from the battery and I, I don't think I actually have anything that can do that can do that we could also start with the AC output which would be to use one of these or this to create the AC output but even still that that might be I mean how possible how you know probable or possible is that I actually don't even know I don't think I even have I spent 80, 80 pounds on all this stuff and I don't think I even have what I need to do it because we need 12 volts here, like in this input. Yeah, so, hmm, I'm actually a bit stuck at this point. So I think we're gonna have to order some more bits. I mean, what I wanna do is I wanna get five volts DC from this. I mean, this is where this solar charge controller is gonna be the best because this actually does apparently, I'm not, I'm not sure, but this should produce five volts right here output. But how do I get that five volts output from this? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to try and figure that out in the next video. I think it's gonna require a fair bit of research. For now, I'm gonna end this one here. Yeah, this this is, you can see guys that this is difficult. You know, it, it's not as easy as someone who knows what they're doing makes it seem like. Like I, I don't learn this stuff in university. You know, there's no, yeah, there's, the, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't even be able to ask, I don't think, any of my lectures about this kind of stuff. You know, and what book would you pick up to do this? How would you learn this other than the way that I'm learning it? I mean, maybe you can kind of hope that someone else has done a YouTube video on it. But other than that, I don't know. And I mean, I, it might, you know, for me, there's nothing worse than trying to search through YouTube search results. You just got to try and hope that one of your favorite YouTubers has done it. Because whenever I search through the YouTube search results, I get all these videos that have English titles, but then you click it and it's not even in English, so. All right, the grind must continue, guys. I'm gonna do a bunch of research. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, as you can see, but if I've helped you out or you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. Yeah, if you have any advice for me, drop it in the comments. You know, I'm, I'm always open to advice. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.